Hey everyone, it's Bailey and today I'm really excited because we are throwing it back. We're doing an old fashioned Target haul because I don't know what happened. I haven't done this in a while, but I totally just went a little crazy at Target. I bought some things. We have clothes, we have workout stuff, we have makeup, we have comfy things, lots of PJs. Just all sorts of random stuff and I'm excited about it so hopefully you guys still like these Target hauls and let's just get into it because we've got a lot to go through. Okay let's first talk about these sweaters that I picked up because I am so obsessed with this sweater. I already have the same exact sweater but in red. Loved it so much that I got it in two more colors. So it's from the brand A New Day and I got it in the green and then I got it in this kind of creamy oatmeal-y color and I just think that it is the cutest thing ever. So the green one, I love green, it's like my power color and I love a chunky cowl neck. Hello, we're wearing one right now. But I just love how this sweater fits and keeps me really, really warm. And it's only $25, which I think is a freaking steal. And they also make this sweater in like a cranberry, so I kind of want that too. But this green is so, so pretty. And then this gray creamy shade is also really, really nice. I feel like if you were blonde, this would look really good on you, but I will make it work with my dark hair. But I am so excited about both of these. Love me a sweater. Let's be real. Um, and then something else I got, which is actually down here, because I just took them off my feet, are some new slippers for the home because it has gotten really cold here in Indiana. Like, it's literally in the 40s for the rest of forever, it feels like, and that's real cold for me. So walking around in the house barefoot is not an option anymore. And I'll be honest, I don't really love walking around the house with socks on because I'm clumsy and I slip. So I would just rather not. I didn't know they have socks with grippies, but hear me out. These are like proper little shoes. They have little soles on them and they keep me nice and warm. So I picked these up and I've been wearing them nonstop. These are from the brand like Daydream or something. I don't even remember. I wasn't even close. It is uh, Deer Foams. Like Deer, like Deer David or something like Deer Foams. Yeah, highly recommend. My feet love these. Big fan. All right, next thing I got is a new candle because I ran out of festive scents and I ordered some from Bath and Body Works last weekend when they were doing the buy one get one free. They were doing that deal and I didn't really feel like going to the mall because you know COVID and my mom went earlier to the one in Georgia and said that the selection wasn't ideal so I just ordered online thinking no big deal. Um, it just shipped yesterday and I'm not very patient. So I needed to go get a candle, so I picked up this one from Target. This one is from the Threshold brand, and this is in the scent Mary Berry, which is currants and frankincense. It definitely is more of a winter scent, but like it feels like winter here, so it kinda works. Um, but it's more so fruity. Yeah, it kind of has like a cranberry thing going on, so it can kind of work for the fall when it's really cold. But I will say this candle overall is a pretty good candle. I'm always wary of Target candles because I've tried so many that just are not fantastic. But this one actually smelled up the room, so that was pretty good. And this was $10. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about PJs because I've been buying PJs like it is my second job. I have been obsessed, honestly, with getting new pajama sets. And I like having pajama sets because I feel like a little bit more put together when I have a matching top and bottom. Now, does it happen every night? No. But when it does, I feel good about myself. And the issue with living in Florida for five years is it's hot there, right? It's typically warm. So the pajama sets I've had were just tank tops and shorts. That doesn't cut it anymore. I get too cold. So I've been picking up some new pajama sets here and there, some from Costco, some from Target, and I found a couple that I really like from Target. So the first set that I have that I still have in the nice little package looks like this. It's from the brand Colsey, which I think is the like young person's brand of the pajama section. And this is just a little set that comes with a jogger, a top, and then a scrunchie, which is a nice little bonus. I got the size medium and it's $25. And so I picked up this leopard one and then I also picked up, I picked up this star one. Here are the bottoms and then the top, which is inside out because I wore it last night. And let me say, it was quite comfy. Now, aren't these like the most warm, cozy bottoms in the world? No, it's not super, super fuzzy on the inside. But I think that is okay because sometimes you can get a little overheated once you have like blankets and stuff on you. And then the top is just a little 
cropish top. It's not like super cropped where you're like showing everything off, but it's cropped where it's cute. And the star one came with this red velvet scrunchie, so that is cute. And then I got this leopard one that has, I don't even know what texture you would call this scrunchie. It's like a fluffy guy, but I got this one. Again, $25, three pieces, comfy, can't beat it. And the other pajama set that I picked up from Target is from Stars Above, and I've already busted it open and I've worn it, and it's super, super comfy. I really love it. And it comes in a similar package to this one where it's already kind of wrapped up as a present, essentially, like very giftable. But this one, instead of having the hair scrunchie and being a little bit more youthful, this is more just like a traditional plain drain pajama, but so, so comfy. So the top is just a thin long sleeve with some buttons and then the bottoms are these really soft kind of velvety plaid and it's so so freaking soft they have this in a navy and a green and then some other festive prints but they are all out of my size which sucks but these are super soft these pj bottoms are just like mm. Yes, you need this. This is so good. And sticking with sleep related things, I picked up this silk pillowcase from the brand Casa Luna. Fancy, fancy. I've always wanted a silk pillowcase. I don't know why I never just bought one. But I got this one in the black or charcoal. I don't know, it's more like a gray actually shade. And we'll see if this makes my hair look lovely when I wake up. That's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be really good for your hair and your face. So I will report back if this is good, but this was $30, which I think is a fair price for a silk pillowcase because a silk pillowcase can get quite expensive. So I will report back on this one. Another fashion thing that I forgot about, I picked up these faux leather leggings from the brand Wild Fable, and I'm actually doing a video comparing leather leggings from different vendors, so this is going to be one of them. I've heard really good reviews on this. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw this, but I picked up another pair of faux leather leggings thinking like, oh, this could be a really good find because they were like $30 and they were from the Hue brand. So if you go to Target where like the socks and the tights are, you'd find them there. And I was thinking, ooh, this could be like a hidden gem. Tried them on. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw, not cute, they got returned. But a couple of y'all responded saying that the Wild Fable ones are good. So we shall see. That video should be up shortly. I'm just waiting on one more pair to be delivered. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. But these feel promising. All right, moving on to some fitnessy things. I have been working out. I know, look at me go. Um, and it's getting colder here, so I decided to get a little outdoor running zip up jacket thing to help keep me warm. So I just picked this one up from the All In Motion brand, which I really like this brand. I have a lot of their workout clothes and none of it has disappointed. So it's a little bit thicker than a normal like running pullover, but it's not fleecy by any means. So I think it's just a good weight for me. And then I picked up this little workout set from Joy Labs and it's another video I'm gonna be doing. I felt inspired last week and so I did some shopping, but I'm gonna be comparing different workout sets. So this is the one from Target that I'm gonna be trying. I've never tried any. No, that's a lie. I have only tried one piece from Joy Labs, but never any of their leggings or sports bras. So this will be new, but I thought this was really, really cute. It has kind of like a space dye, camo, tie-dye situation going on. So again, keep an eye out for that video where I'm comparing all these different things. It'll be so much fun. Ooh, okay, and the last fitness thing I picked up is a kettlebell. <laughs> okay, so this one's heavy. This is a 12 pound one because that was the only one that they had in stock. And I started doing the Chloe Ting, what do they call it? Booty challenge, the get peachy, whatever they're calling it these days. In some of the videos you need a bigger weight to do squats and stuff with. And the only bigger weight I have is a five pound and it's like dumbbells and just didn't work. So I saw this at the store and I was like, okay, we can make 12 pounds work. I'm having some regrets, but it'll be okay. All right, let's move on to some beauty things I picked up. Actually, I just got three beauty things, so it's not anything crazy. But I picked up this Revlon Hot Air Kit, and I've been seeing this on TikTok and people comparing it to the Revlon One Step Styler. So I decided to pick it up because it's actually pretty inexpensive. It was only $25, and I thought it'd be fun to do a comparison video, so I actually filmed that right before this video. So this is kind of the finished product. Um, and I guess if you want to see my full dots, check out that video. I think it'll be up before this one, but 
it's okay, you know, I'm not mad at it. Also, this is what it looks like because the box was just like empty. Um, it just looks like this. It's kind of reminds me of the Dyson Airwrap. But I've never tried a Dyson Airwrap, but if, like, if I did, I feel like it would be like this. Okay, just a couple more things. First, I got this lip gloss. Finally, I feel like I'm the last person to get this. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, and I got the shade Moon, and I actually really like this. The hype is so real on this. It reminds me, probably just because of the packaging, it reminds me of Fenty, but it's not as sticky as Fenty, and Fenty's not sticky. So it's very, very smooth, and the price is definitely right. And the other beauty thing I picked up is a new sunscreen, and I got the first daily mineral sunscreen in SPF 35. Used it today, and I even posted on Instagram how impressed I was with this, just texture-wise, because especially when it comes to mineral sunscreens, you don't always know what you're going to get. Now, this one has a slight tint to it, so it really helps with avoiding white cast, which is nice. And it really does feel like you're just putting on another moisturizer. It just blends right into the skin. So, so far I am really liking this, but it's only been a day, but so far so good. And then the last thing I picked up from Target is an adulting thing. And it's kind of a situation where you go into Target like needing one thing and you come out with the rest of this. Um, I got some fluoride mouthwash because my teeth are very prone to cavities so I have to make sure I take this every single morning and I ran out so I bought some. Just kidding haul is not done I was literally sitting on Instagram stories just chatting away and it hit me that I forgot to show you guys the actual shoes I bought that are not slippers they're like real shoes that I got at Target they were doing a 20% off sale and I actually really needed but I really needed some black boots because I only have one pair of black booties that are also from Target and they're more of a suede so I wanted to get some that are better for more unfavorable weather so I got these two pairs and I love them both so so first I have these black little wedge booties and these are water repellent so that'll be really nice for when it is rainy and icy outside and when I put them on it does not feel like I'm wearing heels so that is really cool they have a little bit of tread on the bottom so I think that'll be good for the weather, I don't know. I got a size 8. I sized up a half size just because I know I'd be wearing thicker socks with this. And I think these are really cute. They're style dupes for the Sorelli, Sorel, I don't know how you pronounce it, but that like snow boot brand. They have some shoes that look just like this, but they're literally $100 more. So we got these. I'm really excited about them. And then I got these boots that are pretty much the exact same thing, but with more grippies at the bottom and more of a heel but like not really but kind of y'all know and it's funny when I showed Tyler these his first reaction was oh this is what people in New York wear when it's winter outside so clearly these must make me look hip I think I think that's what he meant but these are really cool they didn't have a sticker that said water repellent on them but I think they'll still be good in some not favorable weather because they are you know a fake leather but it'll be better than a fake suede out there and there's definitely a lot of grips at the bottom so in theory these will be good for winter and I got a seven and a half in these because they looked really big and I was right so these still fit well even with socks so that is awesome and that's everything I purchased from Target recently I know it's a bunch of just stuff but it's stuff that makes me happy like PJs and sweaters and makeup and sunscreen hopefully I like the haul and I'm gonna be honest I cannot wait for Christmas stuff to come out. I went to the store today with the Kohl's and they already have their Christmas stuff and I'm like, is it too early to buy things? I mean, it feels like winter outside right now so I feel like we can do it, but it's also not even November. So let me know if you wanna see a Christmas decor haul from Target because I have a feeling I'll be buying a lot of my Christmas stuff there or if you just wanna see a Christmas decor haul in general because I plan on going a wee bit nuts because like, it's actually gonna snow here, it'll be fun. Anyways, just let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the haul and if there's anything I'm missing from Target that I should try out. But that is everything for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. You can just hit the circle right up here. It's free. It takes two seconds. And it seriously makes my day every single time. Um, if you want to watch some more videos of mine, I'll put a playlist right up here for you in another video just for you right there. But with all that said, I gotta go and I will see y'all next time. Bye!